Good morning and welcome to Paul T's World. And in this video, we're going to have a look at hydrangeas, the paniculatas and the big leaf hydrangeas. That's the mop heads and the lace cap hydrangeas. It's early March, so it's time for pruning. Also, it's the last time to take hardwood cuttings from the paniculatas. And I've taken some, so we'll have a look at how I did that. Normally, for all cuttings, I have a node above the soil and a node in the soil. And generally speaking, the roots come from the node that is in the soil. However, with hydrangeas, you don't actually need a node in the soil. The roots will just grow from the stem without a node. This means as you don't need two nodes, you can take twice as many cuttings from a hydrangea stem. Because I want it free draining, I think cuttings want free draining soil. I like to add in vermiculite and perlite. If you're going to put in just one of those two, I would add perlite. Perlite adds to drainage. Vermiculite actually holds moisture better, but we've got the compost which will hold the moisture. So in this case, perlite and compost would be fine. But because I've got a lot of both of these mediums, I, I just mix them all together, all three together. A third perlite, a third vermiculite, and a third compost. But if you don't have or want to buy the vermiculite and the perlite, just use the compost. I then just place the cuttings by the side of the house and I'll just leave them to have the rain, the sun, whatever the weather throws at them. And we'll see what happens with these over the summer. It's very easy to see at the moment how and where to prune the big leaf hydrangeas. Just look at this. Oh, in fact, we can even see some flowers starting here. The leaves are showing really nicely and each of these where there's leaves will then sprout up and form flowers. Here's a good example of a mop head that I haven't pruned back yet. The leaves have started and we can see exactly where we can prune to. Just some nice leaves. Easy. Oh, in fact, I've done this one here. Here we are. Let's go into the front garden and see some of the cuttings I did of two or three years ago. So this lace cap is quite a few years old now, probably about eight years old. Whereas these here, these are the ones that I made cuttings of just two or three years ago. We've had the warmest February on record. And so that's brought along these buds, these leaves quite well. So if you're in a much harsher climate, then obviously you can just wait until you see the leaves appear and then prune back to a nice set of leaves. Whereas the paniculatas here, they haven't even started growing. Here are the nodes where the leaves will form and here, and they haven't even started yet. I prune them back as much as I want. You can prune back a little or a lot. Here's the whole row of paniculatas that I've got. The evergreen azaleas are starting to put their buds on now. And here are the last two paniculatas in a line at the end of this bed.
there's still time to take those hardwood cuttings of your panicle hydrangeas. And I'll see you next time in Paul T's world. Bye.